What is going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to be doing a very quick demonstration of the official CyanogenMod Mod 10 ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 LTE for the Rogers network and for the Samsung Galaxy S2 Skyrocket for the AT&T network. Uh, this ROM is compatible with both of those devices because they're very uh, similar in hardware. And um, so in order to run this ROM, your phone model must match one of the two models listed in the video description below. And to know which phone model you're running, all you do is go to your phone system settings, about phone, and under model number, as you can see I have uh, i727. Even though I'm running the Rogers version, it's supposed to say i727R. Uh, Signage and Mod just simply got rid of the R, so it's not a big deal for you uh, Rogers users. Um, it's running the Currently, the latest version of uh, Jelly Bean, which is 4.1.2, San Angel Mod 10, Nightly. Nightly basically stands for um, experimental mode, but I'll tell you this right now, folks. This this thing is extremely stable, and that's exactly what I'm going to demonstrate to you guys in this video. So the first thing I need to show you is the speed. As you can see, it's there's a very graphic-intensive live wallpaper. It's keeping up with... Uh, no effort at all. If you want to know what live wallpaper this is, it's in the description as well. Please don't ask me about it, okay? I'll list it there instead for you guys. Uh, notification drawer. Uh, you'll notice that the icons are bigger. Not too big that it's annoying, but it's actually significantly bigger that it's easier on the eyes and easier to tap on a lot quicker. And uh, they made some modifications such as if you get a text message, for example, and you're using the stock text messaging app with the ROM, uh, there's like a quick reply button. If you tap that button, what will happen is a new box will pop up about this big. Um, it'll show you the text message you received and you can type in your reply in there. Send, sorry, hit the send button and it'll quickly just send on its own. It won't even open the text messaging app. It'll just do it all within that box. So it's a lot faster than opening up the text messaging app and then closing it. Yada, yada, yada. It's stock Jelly Bean, the launcher. You can customize the animations and whatnot here. Uh, which I'll show you how to do that in just a bit. Um, and of course, you can customize the top notification drawer, as I do, as I have, rather, uh, with customizable buttons. And let me just show you all this stuff right now. So I'll show you the chunk of the ROM. So it customize the launcher, uh, the home screen, the drawer setting, the transitions and stuff. You can hit launcher. I'm not going to get into it because there's a ton of options. It will make this video way too long. The lock screen can customize. You can put your name on it in case you lose your phone. Uh, battery information, weather if you want, uh, you can change the wallpaper on your lock screen, etc. And uh, you can change different uh, launch uh, swipe gestures to launch different apps. So you can actually, like say, launch the camera right away from the lock screen. Uh, themes, you can probably down download thousands of themes from the internet. Uh, so say for example you do miss TouchWiz from Samsung, uh, you can actually probably find one on the internet, flash it on, and your phone will have a TouchWiz theme to it. System. System is basically, this is a CyanogenMod system settings, okay? Uh, so basically say notification, or actually status bar, for example, you can customize the, you can have a customizable battery icon, you can have a percentage icon instead. Uh, you can customize, well, whatever you see here. I don't want to get into too many details because like I said, it'll make this video way too long. Notification drawer, uh, you can customize the buttons, as you can see, like I have up here. Um, and you can, for some of the options, you can get into four, uh, further more extensive details, such as sound. You can customize uh, which kind of sound options you want. Um, if you go back, you can change the order of the widget buttons at the top. Uh, you can hide the scroll bar, haptic feedback, yada, yada, yada. Display. Okay, this is what I want to show you. Now, Synergy Mod 9 runs great. Um, in fact, if you get a missed call, text, email, etc., what will happen is um, the, if, if your screen is off and you get a missed call, text, or whatever it is, your screen is off and these LED buttons here will start to blink while the screen's off. That's basically the, the ROM's way of saying, hey, you got a missed call or text, turn on your screen, check it out, see what's, what, what did you miss. The option is here, um, as you can see. And it didn't work, so what I did is I actually had to use custom values, I, I turned it on, and I had to add these apps manually. However, it still doesn't work after adding it manually. Not a major deal, to be honest, because it works in Synergy Mod 9 perfectly. I expect this to be up and running in no time with Synergy Mod 10. Uh, the progress has been great, they've been updating it practically nightly, like every night. So um, 
that's not working so I just wanted to let you guys know but I'm pretty sure it'll be in implemented very soon um, volume rocker wake up so you can basically wake up the phone if the screen's off with the volume buttons if you don't want to keep tapping the power button uh, the, the rest of the stuff is your generic um, Android settings uh, battery life basically um, I average about an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes talk time per a day and I have the screen on for average an hour and a half per a day and then the usual I, I, while the screens on I play games check my email whatever in in that usage I get about a 24 hours uh, battery usage voice minutes is the biggest battery killer on Android and that's what I use the most which is you know talk time like I said so that's the biggest battery killer for me and it averages about 24 hours so battery life is still pretty decent uh, better than the uh, stock ROM that you get from AT&T or Rogers that is filtered um, from Samsung okay now there's a cool feature I think this is a very old feature from like Cyanogen Mod 6 or something and the Cyanogen Mod team got rid of it and due to popular demand people requested and they put it back basically if you want to update your phone you no longer have to connect it to the computer or you don't have to use ROM manager you can do it straight from the ROM itself so in the phone sy system settings uh, you go to about phone about phone damn it uh, signage and mod updates and what you can do here is basically ch you can set how often do you want to check for updates so I set mine for a weekly um, update types you can filter you can have basically you can set it to all versions so if you're on signage and mod 10 it'll even look for like say an older version like signage and mod 9 uh, I only look for new versions and I include nightlies nightlies is basically asking do you want to include experimental versions in your search I do it because it runs great and if you want to force a search all you do is tap this and as you can see I currently have installed the October 2012 the 18th uh, the date that's that's the update so they added another one on October 19th then they added another one which is today on October 20th so in the last two days there have been two updates right so if you want to download it I suggest to use Wi-Fi because each update is approximately 150 megabytes so it'll kind of kill your data plan if you don't have too much uh, just tap the download icon it'll start downloading uh, even if the screen goes off it's not a big deal when you come back and it's finished it, it'll give you a prompt do you, and you tap it again uh, it'll ask do you want to install it then you hit yes so when it's done tap on it select yes to install it uh, when it when it when it installs a new update it doesn't delete any apps or data I do suggest you back them up just in case if you want to know how to do that I have a video on that which you can find in the description below as well but so far I've been doing it, it hasn't deleted any information all it does is add some bug fixes that's all uh, and if you want to delete any updates that you currently installed say for this one long press press delete and yes it will not delete your current system okay don't be afraid to do it it's basically deleting the zip file off your internal storage that's all it's doing it's, it's, in, it's deleting this in, uh, downloaded file not the actual installed system okay Wi-Fi Bluetooth GPS uh, NFC chip all work great um, LTE I do not have an LTE data plan even though this is an LTE phone. The reason being is because my carrier wanted to offer me an expensive LTE plan. I said no, so I have a regular data plan. I cannot test LTE. So I, I can't answer that question if, you know, because people have been asking about it. I can't answer that because I don't have an LTE plan, all right? So that's basically a quick demonstration. I will not be doing another demonstration of Sanage Mod 10 until Google is rumored they'll release Android 4.2 on October 29th. However, it's still rumored that that's still going to be called Jelly Bean. Uh, and, or if, if they release a stable version of uh, Sanjay Mod, I'll, I'll do a video then. So one or the other, okay? But for the most part, honestly, folks, camera works fine, front and back, works superb. Um, gallery, I'm still having some trouble playing videos with the default video player. Uh, you'll see it, 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 shouldn't, it doesn't show up. So I downloaded and use an app called MX Player, which is free from Google Play. I'll put a link for that app in the description below. It plays everything fantastic. So I have a, I was able to get past that problem. If by chance audio is not working at the beginning for ringtone or video playback or music playback, all I simply did was put the volume down once or twice and go back up and it worked fine. I'm pretty sure they fixed that problem in the newest nightly um, because I don't have that problem anymore. So if, if it does happen, I had to do it only once, and after that, it worked all the time, okay? So that's my demo. Uh, I do hope it helps you guys decide if you want to install it or not and wait. But believe me, folks, it's extremely stable. I get no problems apart from, like, the LED light and the video playback. Play <laughs> anyway, 
Uh, if you found this video useful, check out my website in the description below. Hit the like button, it really does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.